War has a bad habit of finding people. some wars their own we are me again call call all right so today uh, we are going to do a deep dive into how we have designed uh, the enemy ai systems in our game so how we have designed the AI system in such a way they are always aware of their surrounding, their environment and the other enemies and the player and all other uh, factors that they have inside the game. So alright, so this is the game and let me do a brief playthrough, uh, not a playthrough, let, just let me show it to you guys. So the game is already available in this team. I'll put a link in the description. The game name is Nero. Right, so here we have a couple of enemies. And yeah, before I before we go into details, let me show you yeah, an overview of how the enemies work. So enemies have basically these three types of sensors here inside and touch sensors so under hearing the enemies have minor disturbances like footstep sounds and other rock throwing sounds and major disturbances such as shooting sounds explosions and alarms and as for the sight we have minor disturbances and which uh, and also major disturbances and immediate detections and touch is also always leads to immediate detection because this happens when player collide with another enemy character all right so let me show you roughly uh, how does an enemy respond to an event so basically when an enemy perceives some uh, sense data data for example some noise or it can be seen something like a dead body or some malfunctioned machinery so what happens is first enemy assess the situation uh, what i mean by that is uh, if the enemy is in a firefight they don't really care about any of the noises that they hear or any of the dead bodies because they are in the middle of a fight and if they are not in a fight they if they see some suspicious thing they will definitely go and look in take a look so that's what it meant by assessing the situation then they do a reaction to that particular th 
thing that they have perceived it could be a it could be a vocal plus body language response so they show some excitement or some suspicious body gesture and say things like what is that what is this who's there things like that and also after that they respond to that action uh, uh, like doing something like go and search there or just look at that situation look at that location or look around or search around or just ignore it and also this responding action differs if they are alone or if they are with a team so all right now let me demonstrate a minor disturbance minor voice noise disturbance so this comes under hearing category hearing perception so let me demonstrate a minor disturbance first let me take this enemy so you can see him clearly and if I throw some rock you can see the enemy heard the sound and now he's going to check over there so he said what enemy said is something is over there it is in singular because we wanted to keep uh, wanted to make it authentic the experience so that's why we keep it in singular but what it means is something is over there so the flow happened there is uh, here uh, I, as an example I have chosen a whistle here but uh, what we did is throw in a rock so enemy assess the situation and turn to the noise location and who's there or did some similar gesture with the body language and went there and took a look uh, so yeah this is when there is only one enemy right now let's see what happens when there are two enemies let me have the other enemy as well now both of the enemies heard it but only one of the enemies are going to check it. so he says we are heard something but the other enemy wait there he is not coming to check because it's enough to check only one by enough to check if only one of the enemy search that area search that noise because it's a minor disturbance and another thing that we need to uh, that we should notice here is if there are more than uh, when there are more than one enemies and if one enemy goes to check and if we don't come back let's say when one of the enemy comes to check the situation I kill him so then what happens is after some time the other enemy that who heard the noise will notice that the enemy who went to search that location is not coming back so he will come and tear, check it so to demonstrate that we will have to wait until that enemy also comes in near here Whistle sound, they don't hear the whistle sound because of the distance. Right. Now, let me go there. The both enemies heard it. And when this guy comes to check it, let me kill it. Right? And the other enemy who is currently behind that rope also heard it. So he should come here to check. Hey, and yeah, now he searching. Hey. 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 And he is searching. Hey. Hey. That's hey. what happened in here. Okay. So that's one way these enemies act in as a team. Similarly, if I do a whistle as well, they will come and check. Only one of them come and check just like the 
where they react to a rock throwing sound or some footstep sounds. Let me demonstrate how they react to a whistle like He heard the noise footstep sound but they uh, for footstep sounds they don't actually come and check because it consider very minor let me step up and go so we just don't care because just a step sound all right now let's see let's wait him to pass us <coughs> and do a visit <coughs> He saw the dead body and searching uh, and inspecting the dead body. Would a bear in the dead Now he's searching around. See, he haven't seen us, but he knows something is wrong. That's why he's searching around. And if there were any other enemies near this area, they will be notified too. Since he can't really find anything else, he should return to his station. No why? See, now the yellow icon is also gone. Now that's on how they react to minor disturbances. Actually, the dead body is not a minor disturbance, and it's also it's not about hearing. So I will talk about that later. Now let's look into how do they react to major disturbance. That means something like a loud gunshot or a grenade or any other type of explosion because we have uh, other exploding barrels as well. So here also what happens is the enemy assess the situation that means if see if they are already in a fight or not. If they are in a fight they wouldn't really uh, pay too much attention to the explosion because they are, have to engage the enemy, engage the player. If not, they will turn to the noise location and do some more louder shouting. Like um, that represents that they have seen, they have heard a larger, louder noise. Uh, like what happened over there, what is exploded, something like that then started searching around immediately it's not like the previous case in the previous case they take some time and they are not really like running around they just calmly search the location but here they immediately start searching because the threat is larger compared to the previous case and also if there are multiple enemies all of them will start searching not just one so let's see how that works out here. But uh, to demonstrate that clearly, let me duplicate this enemy. Let's first see how they react to a Explosion. All of the enemies are alerted now and looking around. Since they don't have an idea about the exact location, they are looking all over the place. And if they can't find anything after a while, they will return. See, enemies, uh, this uh, explosion sounds usually have a larger noise radius, 
That's why a lot of enemies came here to search. Enemies further away also came here to uh, search. Now they are returning to their usual patrol parts or the initial locations because they couldn't find anything. Now let me demonstrate another case where I shoot. So when I shoot, now you may notice that this icon has a red uh, outline. So yeah, that's how they react if I shoot because shooting sound is definitely uh, a major disturbance and they know that for sure someone is actually shooting. It's not just an accident. It's not just a accident like exploding a barrel or machinery malfunction. They know that is something real, some real threat is out there. So that's why they start reacting immediately and directly come to the sh location that they heard shooting because it's easier to locate where uh, the uh, where the shooting happened based on the sound it sh it seems logical and we have designed all the enemy shouts enemy barks accordingly we have a set of uh, enemy shouts suitable for each look each situation when we shoot they say things like who show uh, things like uh, that implies the idea they heard someone shooting and if they heard some explosion they shouts that has the with the clips that has the idea they heard some explosion and when they search around they say things like uh, come out wherever you are like we are gonna find you things like that search over there all of them are in signal by the way but all the game audio is now in a, we have enabled English. All full audio support is both there for all the cutscenes and all the major dialogues that takes place with, with the allies and the player. Uh, but these enemies, we kept all the shouts in sync to keep the authenticity. And I forgot to demonstrate a minor disturbance, this machine malfunction previously. So let me demonstrate that too so for that what we have to do is a ma what a machine malfunction means we can uh, jam some machines by shooting at them so the enemies will come and inspect that machine and we can uh, use that window to shoot again and explode but, and it will end up killing all the enemies nearby. So, for example, we have some machine over there. It's a generator. <laughs> oh, I'm detected. Let me try again.
move into sight sight perception here also uh, the sabotage machinery that is a minor disturbance actually uh, we have two types of sensors uh, at work when I uh, sabotage one of these generators one is the noise which acts as a minor noise disturbance and then they can see this uh, we have we have added some visual um, elements such as sparks uh, along with the malfunctioned sound so when they hear the sound they will look they will turn to the malfunctioned generator and look at it and then they will see the visual uh, they will perceive the sight perception component and that will make the enemies AI to come and search. So that's a minor sight disturbance. Minor disturbance in the sight perception. So this is the basic flaw. As of when an enemy see a sabotage machinery, they assess the situation. That means consider if they are in a fight or not. Then look at the location. Say something like what happened to that. A suitable body a suitable animation reaction then go and inspect and if they can't find anything they just return and also when there are multiple enemies not all of them would come here and search only one of them will come there and search inspect all right the next one is sight a major disturbance that means a dead body well, dead body is one of the major disturbance. The other one is detecting the uh, player himself. So, yeah, we have seen how this works in here, but let's do this again. He's being cautious without directly going to the body. See if someone is over there shooting at them. But go ahead, inne. What he's saying is something like, "Where are you?" Okay, now I'm detected because of the touch. So what are the mama? Okay, so there what happened is this uh, touch perception that I showed you guys earlier. So here it always usually end up in detecting the player. So start fighting the player immediately. 
okay now now let's look into the alert state of the enemy so we have three two major states no three major states one is they are not completely unalerted so they are doing their business as usual nothing to worry about and when they hear some uh, some suspicious noise uh, this yellow icon appears in the middle that means they have seen or heard something suspicious so they are they could be the searching or inspect and this one yellow icon with the red outline that means they have this happens when they hear a gunshot this is a special case they hear a gunshot but they have heard it and they know for sure some enemy some threat is there but they still haven't located the threat so this is the situation where we have yellow icon with the red outline and the complete red uh, icon means the player is detected and the enemies are in full alert mode also the enemy's range and the detection speed changes when according to the alert state as well when they are unalerted this detection meter fills slowly compared the filling st uh, speed when they are alerted right now let's see these situations also in action Right now, I throw it. Out. Now here uh, we don't really get any icons because even though they heard something, it's a very minor noise disturbance. Now, if I throw a grenade, we get this yellow icon in the middle. This one. This one. So that means they are in alert mode and they are searching. Right? No. But I am very lucky. Ne, why am I not Elliot? Can't really shoot because if I shoot, I will be detected immediately. <laughs> 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 going to talk about them today maybe we can talk about combat system in another episode now let me demonstrate this middle state with the yellow icon with the red outline as I said that happens uh, when they have heard a gunshot by player and they know for sure some threat is out there but they still don't know they are <laughs> The yellow icon with red outline and they will run and search in this area as soon as they can see him is up and he's up like in actually they're all around me <laughs> okay that should be enough and i said uh, the assassin uh, when I talk about assassin situations, they wouldn't really uh, uh, React to any of the dead bodies if they see any dead bodies while they are in a fight That's because they are in a fight and it is normal to see a dead body because the fighting happens at the moment Maybe I can demonstrate that too Now this guy dies, dies, but this guy is not, is not uh, worried about that because he is engaged in the fight. Grenade. 
Mak, tolong dah nak bang. Bang, bang, bang. Ha? Eh. Bodak kena bang. Nah, ini. Ya, umpat ada beri. Bodak demam. Mana bom dia kena bang. That enemy shall come to warm their camp. That means it's similar that it means there is a bone board or something like that. They have seen the bone and they are trying to get away from it. But we uh, implemented that reaction in such a way that there is still there is a chance that the enemies will be died from the grenade. If we make them 100% evade the bomb all the time, they uh, grenade throwing will be useless for the player all right so that's all i wanted to talk about and i'm gonna stop this episode right here and the game is available in steam and earlier it was only in singhala but now we have added full english audio as well so it would be great if you can yeah, guys can download and show support and also um well, not the project file of this project, but a lot of stuff that I'm working in this channel. You can access the project files of those projects in my Patreon. So, link for that will also be in the description. And you can get the membership to unlock project files of these other projects. And thanks for watching. So, see you in another episode. Goodbye. And also if you guys like to cover me some other stuff uh, like other aspects of the game that we have developed, feel free to comment uh, down below. I will try to cover those requests as well. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.